the sky is falling, the bubble is bursting, and the housing market is crashing. At least that's what the skeptics say. But right now, right here, we're about to get into the real numbers, the transparent numbers. They're going to paint a clear picture of what Culver City is looking like right now in quarter two, how it looked in quarter one, and what we're going to be looking at in quarter three. Make sure to stay to the end as well because I'm going to give my own personal prediction. And also, this is a shout out to Mike Wilson because you asked for this video. So keep it dialed in here. We're about to get into these Culver City numbers. What's up, what's up guys? It's Eric Oz here with EXP Realty in sunny Southern California here on the west side of Los Angeles. I hope you guys are doing great. It is super hot, it is heating up. And the Culver City market, well, it may be a bubble burst, it may be a hot market. We're about to get into those numbers and see exactly what this Culver City market has been doing for quarter one versus quarter two. And stay tuned to the end because I got a forecast on quarter three and what to expect for the rest of the year. Shout out to Mike Wilson. This video is for you, my friend. Drop a comment just like he did. And I'm happy to cover any area that you're interested in. So if you're new to the channel as well, this video is all about bringing value and so is the channel and making sure that you, a buyer, seller, investor, have the tips, tricks, and strategies to be successful in this crazy hot sellers market or any market that we're experiencing right now. So drop a comment. Even if it's just a hello, like, and smash that subscription button. We're about to jump into these Culver City numbers. Please also make sure that you stay to the end because I'm going to drop my own personal prediction of where I see this Culver City market going into quarter three and the rest of 2021. So the number of homes active and pending, unfortunately, I don't have those numbers accessible because we weren't covering this market earlier on. But if you'd like me to continue covering Culver City in the future, comment below and let me know because I'm more than happy to do so as it's all about serving you guys and providing value as well. So the number of sold homes, though, I definitely got for you in quarter one, and we were at 66 homes total that sold in quarter one. Now, get this. We had a wonderful, amazing 29% jump in the number of sold homes in quarter two from 66 to 85, and that's just showing us, my friends, that not only are homes being priced right, so they're getting sold and increasing the number of solds from quarter one to quarter two, but it also shows that, hey, buyer demand is not slowing down, and it's actually a 29% increase in the number of solds, meaning buyers are out there in droves still, multiple offers are happening, and things are selling over the asking price at the end of the day. Now, the number of homes for sale currently in quarter two, we're at 29 homes currently for sale. The number of pendings, we're at 26, and I'm hoping that 26 continues to cultivate a strong market, which I believe it's going to as we jump into the median actives, median pending, and median sold price. Again, median active and pending for quarter one, I don't have those numbers, but median active and pending for quarter two, we're at 1.6 for median active price, 1.5 for median pending. That's a good sign. There's not too much of a difference between the median active and the median pending. And again, at the end of the day, that median pending can still go up. So we just gotta wait and see what things close out for. Now we got our median sold price too at 1.6 million for quarter one. I definitely got that info for you and it stayed level at 1.6 million for quarter two, 2021. So hey, we have good things happening in Culver City. Homeowners are very smart about their pricing and it's only leading to the results in the numbers as you can see with a strong median pending price, strong median sold price, strong median active price and even enough the median active price and the median sold price are matching up. So it's a good thing all around right now in Culver City. Now let's look at the sold price versus the original list price and see what that percentage is getting. Now in quarter one, we had a little bit of a tail off at 98%, homes getting 98% of the original list price. Now in quarter two, we're seeing a nice upswing to 103%. That's a 5% increase. So homes are now getting 103% of the original asking price. This is just like Mar Vista. This is the type of market you want to be in. And homeowners that are thinking about selling, this is the market for you. Inventory remains still super low. You've only got 29 homes currently available right here, right now. Now let's look at the number of homes that went over the asking, sold out asking, and went below the asking price. Yes, even in a hot seller's market, homes are still selling under the asking price. But the number of homes selling at asking price has jumped 200% from three homes selling at asking to nine homes selling at asking. Now, I know you guys wanna know how many homes sold over the asking price, but I wanna to jump to the number of homes that sold under the asking price because it is down 30%. This is a happy thing. Again, this is all courtesy of homeowners pricing things right. So we had 40 homes selling under the asking price, 
30% decrease in those for quarter two, and we're at 28 homes now. Here's the big number. This is the happy number. The number of homes that have sold over the asking price. Quarter one, we were at 23, 109% increase to 48 homes selling over the asking price. And that 48 homes selling over the asking price is actually almost double the number of homes that are selling under the asking price. So again, Culver City, I gotta tell you, is on top of the world with respect to pricing right and getting homes sold for top dollar, getting homes sold for over the asking price. And I'm sure homeowners out there, you're getting the best terms possible at the end of the day as well. Now let's take a look at our average days on market because I know for a fact that that's taken a hit as well in a positive way. We went from 37 being the average days on market in quarter one and took a 35% drop to 24 days on market. So hey, this market is only staying strong and viable as we look at the sold volume. It has increased 32% as well from 111 million to 147 million. Now, if you can see it from the numbers, I'm gonna give you my prediction right now. It is going to continue to be a hot seller's market in Culver City. The only homes really that are maybe facing a little bit of a price reduction, price adjustment, are the homes that are selling in the three million plus range. Those are not the norm in Culver City. There's a lot of new construction happening, but it's going to catch on at some point. Those homes will be three million plus, whereas homes with the median price being, you know, around the one six range for sold, you know, that's the that's the meat and potatoes of Culver City. That's where majority of the homes are selling between one five and two million. So on that note, my friends, I hope you guys found value. That's my prediction. I think that this market's only going to stay strong through quarter three, through the rest of the year as well. There's nothing that's really showing any change to that. As long as prices remain strong with homeowners being smart with their pricing strategies, we're in for a strong hot seller's market for the rest of the year for Culver City. So if you haven't already, make sure you're smashing that subscription. Give me a like and comment below, even if it's just a hello happy to respond and uh, make sure that if you've got any other neighborhood you want me to check out for you, leave it down below and I'll make it happen. Until then, have a great one and take care.